Hey guys, my name is Roslyn Kihamba and I film on relationship, faith and family. I like to divert a little bit today and help us with social events. I'm a social events planner and sometimes I get to see the disappointments that come with this social event. And so I like to give us four things that will help you the next time you're going for a social event. Number one, ensure you confirm attendance. If you've been given an, invo an invitation, ensure you confirm your attendance. If you're planning not to attend, also tell the host, tell your host about your not being able to make it and do it on time. There are people that like giving their apologies when it's too late or they make their confirmation and it's also extremely late. Do it on time, confirm or send your apologies on time. Number two, dress appropriately. Whatever event you're going for, be it a wedding, is it a bridal shower, is it a baby shower, is it a housewarming party, is it a hike, you know, whatever, wherever you're going, is it a graduation party, ensure you are dressed appropriately. Avoid being you know, clueless. You don't know what people are supposed to do. When it comes to attire, especially for weddings, please avoid this issue of trying to find out what's the color scheme so that you be in matching colors. Oh, people, what do you always do sincerely? Avoid being in the color scheme with the bridal team as much as possible. Let the deco person deal with the color, the color scheme. And so, if you're asking maybe to avoid those colors, it's well and good. But don't ask so that you also are doing the same color. Afana, avoid. Number three, ensure you carry a gift. If you've been invited for a function, even if it's a birthday party, somebody just, you know, put in their time, their money, their effort to invite you for a function. Don't just think you'll be, it's your stomach they need so, And the best you can do to your host is to carry a befitting gift. If it's a graduation, you can see what kind of gift goes along with somebody that is graduating. If it's a bridal shower, you know the kind of gifts that you can take to the bride-to-be. If it's something like a baby shower, Carry a befitting gift. Don't carry gifts that don't reflect the kind of function that you're attending. Then number four is while at the event, you confirmed, you dressed appropriately, you brought your gift. Number four, ensure you, you play along. Whatever that is happening in the event, try to also be party, part of the team. Avoid being alone. You know, there are people that go to an event and just include themselves. Maybe because you've met new maybe new people that you don't know. Just try to interact with the people at the event. And don't just, you know, like ignore. You, you're feeling so low, so bored. Don't bring your boredom to events. If you're not feeling well, it is courtesy to just tell the host, I won't make it because I'm not feeling well. But if you go for an event, let's say a wedding and people are dancing, don't just sit on your seat like you've been glued there and have no, you know, you're not just part of the team. It just spoils the host's mood. Try to be part of them. And then there are others that overdo their involvement. Stop stealing the show. Stop trying to overdo yourself. No, just balance. Just balance your... your your involvement, your participation at the event, and it will be a good thing. I hope these four things have helped you. You'll be able to attend your social events in a better way, and our hosts will be left glad and happy with us. And for the hosts, please stop judging your guests harshly. Stop analyzing the way you saw them behave, especially if it's something that was very personal. No, stop that habit of judging your guests harshly just welcome people i hope you you've learned something you can add the other things the things that you thought i should have said that i didn't say add them in the comment section and i'll appreciate 
goodbye ensure you subscribe and share you click like and comment bye bye